Hi, this is Leech. Today I will show you how to marble paper like this with watercolour inks. Just a disclaimer, I'm not an expert in marbling. This is my first time. I've never tried it because I always thought it was messy and that I would need to buy a lot of things. Uh, but what happened was during the lockdown or circuit breaker as we call it here in Singapore, some of my watercolour paper had gone bad. It had lost its sizing and when I experimented with these inks, I got this result and I thought, this is not bad for very little effort and that's why I'm sharing. So these are the materials that you'll need. You'll need watercolour inks. I'm using Aqua Drops by Schmincker. These are great because they're so pigmented and they're also uh, light fast which is you know quite special for watercolour inks. Of course you can use any other watercolour inks that you already have at home. You also need paper. I'm using an assortment of uh, watercolour paper uh, that's about 300 grams. If you use something lighter, just take note that it might buckle a little faster in the water. You also need a tray and some water. Okay, and we can start. Before I end the video, I'd like to share with you some variations that I did. Uh, first of all, these are the ones I did today for the demo. Sometimes there's a little air bubble under the paper. It's, it's kind of hard to get it out, so you'll see me tapping the paper uh, when I dip it. Uh, and sometimes the bubble comes out and sometimes it doesn't. So if this happens, sometimes I just smudge it over with my finger, but it never really goes away. So you'll see like this is, this is one of them. So what else have I done? I've also used Chinese ink. Chinese ink is interesting, um, I couldn't get it to look really dark, I think it sank mostly to the bottom, but you can get very subtle patterns like this. I've also done things which are not as contrasting, so really um, very subtle, you can't really see the pattern, duller mixes, and this one's just maybe one or two colours, like a lighter pink and a darker pink. Also here, here I'm using the same colors that I use for everything else but they are much lighter because I've added a white and I've also added these bits which are walnut ink. This one, this one is done by dropping in one piece of paper into the the tray first, so something like this, and then I put it on top like that. And so only these two corners get the marbling, which I feel is quite interesting. Um, and of course, there are pieces where I do both sides. And 
so that's uh, my demo for watercolor marbling. I hope that was fun and that you try it. Thank you for watching.